Hey, what's up guys? Your boy Jason coming at you one more again. Uh, topic of this video and the reason I'm doing this video is to uh, walk uh, beginner drivers or stuff uh, through what I do in between qualifiers and heat. Um, you know, this is, you know, just just a, a tip. You get off on your qualifiers. You know, you pull your car off the track. Uh, come back to your pits. Take your body off your car. And, you know, put it on your stand. If you got a fan nearby, kind of put the car in the breeze. And get your butt out there to go marshal. <laughs> you know, uh, pay the respects for the next people, you know. Uh, there's a lot of people who think they're too good for marshaling. Nobody's too good for marshaling. You know, if you like me, I stumble and fall on cars and slip and slide and do the MC Hammer out there. But anyway, uh, after you get done marshaling, come to your pits. First thing, clean your tires up. Get all that sauce or dope or whatever y'all call it these days. Get your tires clean. Let those, let those dry. Your battery should be a little cool down after, you know, marshaling everything. Uh, some of the pros and some of y'all guys keep your battery in the car. Whatever. Just make sure you charge your battery. So your tires are clean. Put your battery on charge. Make sure your battery is on charge. Okay. Next step. I take a two mil. And I, and I learned this you know, watching mechanics and motocross and stuff like that. Uh, and that's where I got the tip from, I guess. But I learned this from watching them and, and actually doing it because it, this is a lifesaver. You know, motorcycle breakdown and somebody's life could be your life. But uh, I take the same steps uh, to this, to uh, the car. But anyway, I take a two mil. And wherever there's a two mil screw, I tighten. I make sure it's tightened. And I do that all over the car. Uh, these areas here, like I said, wherever there's a two mil, like, like I said, I just tighten. There's too many uh, chatty caddies chatty patties out there at the track you know and they want to socialize when they should be wrenching on the car make sure the car is right uh another thing another tip i was wanting to say is power tools yeah i use these but i use i use them to get the screw down to a certain point and I don't dry, I try not to drive screws in with a power tool. I get it down to a certain point and I hand tighten everything. So, say go there, go up under. Uh, especially, uh, you want to hand tighten the, uh, you know, ball studs. Make sure all your ball studs are, are tight. But like I said, I go around the whole car with a two mil. Uh, like I said, especially all ball studs and, uh, you know, even the screws here that hold the, uh, the servo in, make sure that your, your braces, make sure those are tight. Um, but yeah, so, you know, motor screws. Make sure those are tight. Your side screws at the at the bottom here. Make sure they're tight in. Uh, and this is this you know goes for all cars. Your uh, screws in the back. Make sure they're tight. All right. And once I check all ball studs, all screws that take a two mil. You know, like the arm, the ball set that go in there. 
once I take uh, check all screws with the two mil, I set the two mil aside, use a peen wrench, and these little set screws here, like that goes in the arms, make sure they're tight. You know, make sure it's tight, but you're not like stripping stuff out, you know. Uh, you get the drill. Yeah. Go to, you know, the arms here. Especially down there, everywhere at the arms where they have a the little uh, hinge pin set screw kind of ordeal. Just uh, making sure they're tight. <clears throat> An overlooked screw or set screw is if you run an antenna, the set screw that holds the antenna in, check that. Make sure that's tight. Uh, you done tighten every screw in between uh, the two mil. I still use my four way. Uh, I mean, I still, I still got, you know, my seven mil, but, you know, in between qualifiers, I'm quick to grab this four way. And when I grab the four way, make sure all the screws are tight or I mean, nuts are tight on the, uh, shocks. I'm gonna take the wing off. Also make sure you tighten your wing off. So. Um, yeah, and at this point, I mean, if you, if you notice your slipper was just slipping out on the track, you know, it's a good time just to take this and, you know, do just a little bump, not a quarter turn, not a whatever, just a little bump, tighten up, just a little bump. Uh, next what I do, uh, learn this from, my. Uh, AJ Marasco. Yeah, I use pledge. Spread on paper towel. And I wipe all my my parts and stuff down, like the bumper, the arm, stuff like that. You know making sure my car is clean, looking clean before it goes back out. Okay. Yeah, I'm just making sure the parts and stuff are, you know, ain't got dirt caked up on for your next run. The bumper in the back, the bumper in the back. Okay. Also, another, another thing, or what I use also to clean baby wipes. You know, I'll keep these in my uh, pit box, wherever I go, pit bag, whatever. But yeah, baby wipes. Kind of get in there. I get my uh, shock towers. Wipe my shock towers down. After I wipe the car down, there's one more step that. I do also is I uh, take a toothbrush, get this at Walmart dollar for the dirt you hard to, that's hard to reach, like uh, up under here, up under the, the shocks, stuff like that. I took a toothbrush and I wipe. I lift up, uh, wipe my shock bodies. Yeah, zoom in there. I'll wipe my shock bodies. Also, I'll pick up on the spring and the little cap that the O-rings are in, the little blue cap. I'll wipe the dirt off from under there. Doing this while everybody's being chatty patty, chatty catty. Hey, yeah. And I do that for I do that for all four shocks. I 
do that for all four shocks. Clean it up, lift it, and this is in between each qualifier. If you run outdoors, this is crucial. You know what I just showed you? That's crucial. But indoors, I still do this for indoors. Um, but outdoors, like I said, that's a big step. Uh, cleaning around the pins here. Getting the dirt and stuff out of, like I said, toothbrush works wonders. Okay. Now everything's tightened up uh, to my specs of what I like, clean, or where people fall prey to. And you say, ah, Jason's axle nuts or whatever. Is never use a tool, or not tool, but um, an electric drill or some kind of electric torque wrench to tighten up your axle nuts. Always, 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 always hand tighten your axle nuts. Or any nut for that matter. Quit being lazy. So like I said, I mean, I use uh, a hex driver, electric hex driver, you know, to get the, the screw all the way in and then uh, I hand tighten it with a two mil. I prefer MIP uh, two mil, but there's others out there. If you're a big baller, uh, you got the Aero Max tools that look, I mean, they just look nice, but they come with a nice price tag too. Uh, I think that's like one of the top of line RC tools you can get is the Aero Max. But yeah, <clears throat> and they're lightweight. A lot of top pros have them because they're lightweight. But yeah, when it comes to axle nuts or screws, in my opinion, I don't think a, uh, a electric driver or uh, electric impact or whatever can touch you hand tighten. Like I said, this is what I do in between qualifiers and rounds. Don't over tighten anything. Okay, got this step.